Hi there YouTube, this is Ronnie Amber's Knight coming at you with, well really I don't want it to be a rant so much but it is my thoughts and views on using miniatures in role playing games. Um, because I have seen over the past few years a very worrying trend of making miniatures pretty much compulsory, or at the very least making them the default setting for role-playing games. This seems to be the case certainly for Star Wars Saga Edition, um, Savage Worlds to some extent, and the bane of them all, D&D uh, 4th Edition. Now, I have played role-playing games for 27 years, since 1985. I have been a GM for the overwhelming amount of that time. I've never used miniatures. I have occasionally used avatars of some description to note uh, the order that a party is in, but usually I just use a piece of paper. Occasionally I will draw out a specific room to give players an absolute ideal uh, image in their head of what they're seeing. And sometimes I will use avatars merely to plot starting positions if there are a lot of NPCs. But what I object to strongly is this idea that using miniatures and using a battle mat pretty much as the default because for me and I say this is my personal opinion for me that takes away from role playing if your focus is on a little figure, tiny little figure, and your focus is on that and moving that figure around a board against other figures, then you are not role playing, you're just moving a figure. You may as well just be playing a fantasy or miniature skirmish game or a war game or a board game. Now I have nothing against those at all. I've played a lot of skirmish games, I've played a lot of war games, uh, I play a lot of board games. I enjoy them, I love them. I'm not knocking uh, that section of the hobby at all. But it's not role playing. When my friends and I have been known to war game, uh, even with mass battles, but certainly when it comes to skirmish games, we've been known to talk in character. We roleplay. We don't just move figures around the board. But it's a hybrid. It's not truly a role-playing game when we do it. It's more than a fantasy skirmish game, because the skirmish game really doesn't assume anything other than you're going to be moving figures around. It doesn't assume talking in character. So for me, and this may be a controversial opinion, and I accept that, I truly believe that role-playing games are the higher form. In fact, I would say they are the highest form of tabletop game. And so I object from a from, from a Puritan point of view to the notion of role-playing games being downgraded with the compulsory or mandatory use of miniatures. Now I know people out there may disagree with that. That's fine. If they're happy with using miniatures, that's their business. Me personally, I'll never use them because they take away from role playing, in my opinion. In fact, I disagree with it so much that 
I mean, I have Savage Worlds, and I've yet to use it. And if I do use it, it certainly won't be with miniatures. Same will go with Pathfinder. Uh, if I ever use it. Uh, I don't think I will ever use Star Wars Saga Edition. I have a whole load of it, I've never touched it. Because figures are the default. And yes, you can sort of clock back and get all the, the actual ranges out, and that's fine. But to me, it should be the other way around. The ranges should be set in feet or meters, whichever the, the standard is. And then you can say if you're using a grid, if one grid equals so many feet or so many meters. And then you can use miniatures based on that, but it should never be a default setting in a role playing game, ever. For that reason, I won't touch DD 4th edition. I don't care what other virtues it may or may not have. That vice alone has put me off. I have over the years become a little puritanical, maybe a little tyrannical, but very puritanical about role playing. I like the pure hobby of role playing, taking on a role, going on an adventure. Um, I don't want, I don't mind little props being used. I've I've had role players who will sometimes dress the part or have a pipe or maybe they'll have a little sword or a gun a toy gun just something that helps them focus to the role and that's fine I don't mind that. that that I can live with but I don't like this notion of figures because it turns it into a board game and role playing games are bigger than that so I object to them completely. I don't object to miniatures gaming. I love war game. I do a lot of it. Not as much as maybe I should, but I do do a lot of it. I like fantasy war gaming. I like sci-fi war gaming. I specifically like historical war gaming, especially medieval. But it's not role playing. I have added role playing elements in whenever I game because I can't help myself. Um, I'm a role player. But this notion that you can't, this notion of, of role-playing games needing miniatures, I find, personally, uh, not offensive is too strong a word, I find it disheartening. Um, it gets in the way for me, so I won't use them. Uh, People are free to agree with that if they wish or disagree with it. I have no problem with people disagreeing with it, each to their own. But for me, with a role playing game, miniatures are a no no. Never gonna happen. The closest it will happen with the miniatures, as far as I'm concerned, is showing party up. So that's my view on miniatures and role-playing games. Feel free to comment, and I'll talk to you again.